Hi guys, I want to talk to you about a device that I've got and I've been using it over for over 20 years and I couldn't be without it, I wouldn't be without it and that is a Kensington trackball mouse this little thing here that you can see um, fabulous little thing that uh, makes my life so easy it has four buttons here and each one can be programmed to, a diff to do a different function so what I'll do is I'll quickly show you what, what each one can do and how I've got them programmed at the moment and then I'll show you how you can program the mouse and what you need to do in order to be able to do it yourself. So at the moment we have the left button down here is my normal click button. So if I click once it just highlights it like that. If I want to open Google I double click like that. So it will come out of there, go back to the desktop. If I wanted to drag that uh, icon anywhere, I've got the top left hand button programmed to do a drag function. So I click it once and I can drag. Now, normally you double click, you have to double click once by pressing it twice. I can program my mouse so that function is done for me. I'll show you. Top right hand button, press it once and the program opens up like that. And then finally we have the bottom right hand button which is our right click button here. So let's uh, talk about how we can program our mouse to do that. And, and what you need to do. So what you need to do is you need to go to the kensington.com website and find the Trackball Works customization software. I will put a link in the description so you can go there yourselves. But it's very easy to, to uh, find. Just type into Google Trackball Works, Kensington Trackball Works software and, you'll, and, you, and this page will be at the top. So what you do is you scroll to the bottom and then there's a little link here which you click on and it will automatically download the software which you then install. I'm not going to do that because I've already got it installed. It's very simple. I'm sure you've down, downloaded and installed software before so it's no different. Once it's installed you can open the software. Now I'm using Windows 10 so all I'm going to do is type in, start typing in trackball and it'll come up straight away like that so you just click on it and that's what happens the, the software and this is all it is this is the, the only thing that opens up and this is all you need to do it so let's go through uh, the buttons first and how we can program them so as you saw in my demonstration my right button was my click my top left hand button was my drag top right hand button was my double click and the bottom right hand was my left click. Obviously, some people may favour a different side of the keyboard that they want to put their mouse. So you, you may want to reconfigure these buttons. So let's say you wanted the click on, on, the, on this side. All, all you do is you click the button and a, and a box comes down and you, you say click now. So if I apply that, and then go to uh, Twitter. This does it. See, if I double click, it opens up. So that's how we. So I've configured that one. If I wanted to configure it to double click, then it's simple. I could do that. If I wanted to do the top one to click. I can do that. You can you can choose your own configuration. It's just some you know really simple, uh, and so you know depending on your disability or how you hold the mouse, you can configure all the buttons in in different you know in different in a different configuration. It's it's brilliant. It's really good. It is. So I'll put those back to how uh, how they were before. So it'll go to double click there 
and this will go to right click and I'll, and I'll apply that now I don't actually use so now I've shown now I've shown you that I don't actually use them myself um, I use a different method um, for, for the um, drag and I'll show you how to do that and if, and you don't actually need this program in order to achieve this and what you do is you type in mouse and then go to your mouse settings all right this is this is on the on the, the windows 10 so once this box opens up the mouse this is all to do with the mouse what you need to go you need to go to additional mouse options and then this this box this box will open up for you now i'm not going to go through all this all right you can work this out for yourself because basically everything you can do here or most things you can do here you can do with the software what i what i wanted to show you is something called click lock now click lock is the same as the drag function on the software that i just showed you so what you need to do is you need to make sure that box is checked and then you need to go into the settings now this is quite important and i would suggest that you uh sort of practice with this because if i put this right this slider determines how long you have to keep the button pressed down because the the, the click lock well i'll show you how it works all right let's come out of there before i showed you we we literally pressed once and we had with the click lock that comes with windows 10 you don't just press once what you do is you 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 hold the button down like that so you cl you, you hold the left button down momentarily and then you, and then it enables the drag function but you've got options you've got the option to determine how long you hold the button down for so if you put it on uh, very very long like that i think you'll probably find it's too long i mean i can hold it down one two three four and it doesn't do it i've got to hold it down one two three four five six yeah i've got to hold it down for at least five or six seconds that's far too long it's far far too long on the other hand if you put it at the absolute fastest on the other hand i wouldn't recommend having the setting too short either because if you put it on its absolute shortness and length then what you're going to find happens is that you only have to hold the mouse down mouse the right mouse button down for an absolute fraction of a second then it starts dragging things so you'll find that you'll try and click on something you know to open it and then you'll end up dragging it and you'll you'll just get frustrated so what i would recommend is putting the setting just up a little bit about there you'll, you'll get used to it you, you will once you once you really become accustomed to using uh, the mouse then, then you'll get you'll get used to it so that's that is how you can enable drag function without having to um use the software now i wanted to show you something else here and this is in the software for the mouse uh, so we've looked at all the drag we've looked at all the uh but how you can program the buttons you can also po program the pointer and you can program it to, uh, to how fast it moves around the screen now you want to have a happy medium really you, you know you don't want to have it so fast that you know you just can't see it when it moves but then again you don't, you don't want to have to be waiting ages for it to move across the screen i'll show you what happens when i when you put it on it's absolute fastest so we'll apply that now we'll just wait for it to kick in now it's just so darn fast you know it's even i mean i've been using a computer for a long time and even that's too fast for me so I like to keep it down a bit 
So I, I, I'm not going to put it on slow and demonstrate that because I did that the other day and it, and you literally have to keep scrolling and the mouse is literally moving so slowly across the screen. It's ridiculous. So you would never, you would never want it on slow ever. Uh, even people who weren't very good with using a computer would, would find the slowest too slow. But let's like say the fastest is just, uh, even I'm even having problems getting it on there because it's just so sensitive. So I think we'll move it to just about, just over half. And that should do the job. Let that kick in. Yeah, that's perfect that is. Now let's have a look at scrolling. This is something that you may may want to use or you may not want to use. Personally, I don't use it because it just isn't something I've ever used, but it's quite a handy thing to have. Uh, if you look at your trackball, there's like a little wheel that goes around the edge of the, around the, the actual ball. I'll show you what that does. Let's go to our website so we can scroll up and down. Well, we'll go to a page. So normally, if you wanted to go up and down a page, you just click there on, on the edge of the screen. But what the scrolling does is that enables you to just touch there and go up and down. It's very handy. It's a bit like the, the roller in the middle of a normal mouse. You work like a little wheel. Well, this is the same thing here, like that. Now, this really, you know, it's more suited to people who've got finger movement. I mean. Personally, I, I don't know, it's not something I've ever really used. Maybe I should use it more. Maybe, in fact, I don't know. Sometimes I have problems uh, clicking in the edge because sometimes you go to a website and that border is, it doesn't appear to be there and you spend ages trying to find it. So maybe I should use the scroll function a bit more. Now you can, you can obviously go into the your software and you can alter that if you want. You can make it faster or slower, just like we did with our pointer speed. So we put that on fast. And then it goes up and down like that. I suppose it's not so critical as the pointer speed. But yeah, so that, that's your scroll, your scrolling function on there. So really, that, that's it. There isn't really anything else to show you. Uh, uh, this is something I've not even bothered doing, and and as for this here, but you can you can actually um, f uh, program the keyboard, but uh, it's not something I've ever done. And I'm not even going to bother looking at that. Uh, you know, if you want to have a look at that, then you can. But this is just showing you how you can use Trackball Works to program your mouse, and uh, and that's it really. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it's uh hope you've learned something from it. Um the trackballs retail is about seventy pounds, maybe less. So I will put I'll, if I can find a good price I'll put one on the in the description for you. But uh that's the track the Kensington trackball mouse software. So I hope you I hope that helped. Hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers for now.